So in this video, which is a continuation of the previous video, I go for a drive all the way to Ibaraki Prefecture to have my car looked at. The AC is finally getting fixed. And afterwards, I take uh, one of the other roadsters up and down to Scuba Toge. Let's just get right into the video. Let's go. Almost finally here. It was like a three hour drive. But at least this area is really beautiful. There's like a really big mountain over there in the distance. And I think Scuba Circuit is right around here. So, yeah, oh well. I'm finally at the shop. I'm here with my buddy Ken. He's the one that helped me uh, set this thing up. This is Ken's Roadster and this Subway RX. Ultimate combo. So, yep, buddy, that is Mount Scuba. It says, um, you can just leave it here now. He's gonna take a look at it. Oh, yeah, from Karagosawa. Yeah. Uh, it's a GTR. R33? This is probably GTR. Yeah, it's been sitting here for like years though. Wow, and this is a uh, Type R? A whole bunch of roadsters all over the place. How do you know this guy? Uh, my uncle introduced me to him. Oh, okay. My uncle is an enthusiast too, and he runs races. Oh wow, old 86. This reminds me of like Mr. Miyogi from Karate Kid. Next, next round of guess what this is? That's a Civic, right? Yes. That's a Civic, yeah. It's an EG thing. Yep. This? No, Shingo. I got no impression. This thought is made by imitation. Oh. This is a Taiku car too. Oh. Yeah, this thing has seen some action. So these are the headlights, not like actual lights. Two LED bars on each side. It's like Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid. And you are like the, the protege. Just old Recaro seats just lying around. So I'm gonna leave my car here for a couple days. It's gonna get checked out. Hopefully we're able to fix the AC. If not, then figure something out. But if you guys have been following, I'm hoping to maybe get an S2000. Just getting some B-roll for the vlog later. Uncle bought this car, right? This Miata? Yep. For how much again? $200. $200. Jeez, does it run? Yahoo Auctions. It runs though? It runs. Oh my god. It's a BRG Miata. So we are gonna go check out on Scuba over there, which is the uh, the course where it's purple think, line. Yes, KSK okay. versus Kane. Yep, yep. And uh, Hoshino in the ER34. Sweet. Let's go. So because Ken is the nicest guy ever, he's letting me use his roadster for a couple days while the uh, other mine gets checked out. And we're gonna go for a quick run up to. Well, it's kind of far, but maybe not that far. So you bought this Impreza, which is not a WRX by the way, for uh, 900 bucks? 900 bucks, jeez. Japan, land of crazy car deals, if you can find them. They're there. Okay, let's try this out. This one's 1.8, right? With this big wang. Plus, cut, cutting this part out, you know, definitely a lot of weight reduction. Let's go. It's gonna be a little bit tough to get in here. Full cage. Oh. I'm in. Okay, so this is an NB, so NB uh, transmission, six speed. It already feels awesome, man. Right? Yeah, to totally different from mine. Wow. Woo, this is gonna be fun. Let's go. Wow, this feels like a completely different car. It's so much more racy. It's like a race car. Whoa. Clutch feels totally different. Today's really cool. I just realized I've driven three different Miatas. So my 
NA, and then Jackie's ND, and now this NA and B because it's got a NB transmission, and it's awesome. And another thing, wow, this this car has AC, so it feels like a completely different car. It's so much more comfortable than mine just because of the AC. AC makes such a huge difference. So I was like, wow, this steering wheel feels very, very race inspired. It feels interesting. When I have a closer look at it, I'm not sure if it's really legit or really ghetto. Probably both. I wish I had some mirror beat. It would be really, really perfect for right now. Maybe I can just make my own. Riding in the 90s. Wow, I really got a hand it to Ken. So this car is definitely an example of function over form because he spent all of his money in making this car faster and turn better and just more engaging to drive. And you can tell because this car is so rickety and rackety. There's so many creaks, but it can turn and it just attacks these corners. Over here, there is a huge Tory gate. Look at the size of this thing. It's so Japanese. I'm really enjoying this toge. It's very, oh, here we go. There's some uh, bumps. I guess there used to be a lot of high-speed drifting here and they want to get rid of that. To be honest, I don't know where the actual course in the game starts. I'm pretty sure this is the actual course now in the game and that people actually race in real life. This is so much fun. This is so fun. The start of the course, where the gallery would hang out, is always such a quiet and peaceful place, and Scuba is no exception. It's so far away from the bustling city streets. There, you can calm your mind and steal your nerves before attacking the toge. Child, I can't strap myself into the harness. So I can't. Thank you. All right, full cool harness. Yep. Okay, so I got the camera mounted over here. Just GoPro here. So we're just gonna do a quick run of scuba. Should be good. Every time I'm about to do a toge run, I can't help but imagine people hanging out in the gallery like an initial D, discussing how they think the race will unfold. I'm sure it was just like the anime in the '90s when battles here were commonplace. そうか。よく聞いてくれ、ピジョロ。はい。はっきり言うぞ。今までの中では一番手強い相手だ。弱点はない。現状で俺のできるアドバイスはただ一つ。耐える。Toge is a challenging course because it has both uphill and downhill sections very similar to Miyogi. However, Tsukuba is comparatively less steep and has fewer tight corners, so overall, it feels like you can go faster than on Miyogi. However, that assessment is more likely due to my own lack of experience. Driving Ken's Miata was an incredible learning experience. 
at low speeds. Everything creaks and rattles and it feels like this race car would be so annoying to live with day to day. However, at speed, everything tightens up and I feel so much confidence going into turns. The bucket seat holds me firmly in place without any bracing and the small diameter wheel makes turning feel like an extension of my thoughts. ドリフトでもグリップでもないって本人は叩くなに主張するけどな俺に言わせりゃあれは理想的なドリフトなんだよ Hey guys, welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed that video. The next video is we are gonna go all the way to Akagi and we're gonna drive the Toge looking for some drifters. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy that video so make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm really, really active on Instagram. Basically, I treat my Instagram as an ongoing vlog. And if you follow, you'll see these, a lot of these clips will show up on, in the videos in real time, uh, day to day. So I think you'll really enjoy that. Make sure to follow uh, right here at Drift Hunter Albo. And uh, today's Japanese word is kotatsu. And a kotatsu is a low Japanese table which usually has a heater in it. And I'll show you my kotatsu right now. So this is a kotatsu. Usually it has a little heater underneath it. And it's great for the winter months. And uh, what else? Okay, how about this? This means this is tatami, which is traditional straw flooring. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And as always, thank you so much for subscribing and watching my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Johnny. Now we hear